Good morning and welcome to Warsaw, Poland. We meet in front of the Royal Castle, uh, which is just behind me. Uh, it's a wonderful piece of architecture, incredible, isn't it? Uh, and it served us as a palace for our kings ever since 1596, since this king, Zygmunt III, Vase, moved the capital from Krakow to Warsaw just to make it easier for himself to um, well govern the country more efficiently because Krakow was in the south and Warsaw was directly in the middle so it was easier for him to move between uh, different districts back then and he was a Swedish king so it was uh, in his interest to be a little bit closer to Sweden and well that that was practical for practical reasons and uh, after after him we kept it this way because it made really sense Be behind me you can see an old city which is incredible there's plenty of shops little restaurants uh, buildings offices and it's it looks very ancient doesn't it but it's not you guys you see in 1944 we had Warsaw Uprising. We uh, rebelled against Nazi Germany. We wanted to get rid of Germans before Russians come to our city. So we don't allow them to liberate the city. We would welcome them in the free Warsaw. But uh, somehow Stalin came up with the idea that, um, well, he will actually wade with his army on the other bank of the Vistula River and he will allow the uprising to be put down by the Nazi German, by Wehrmacht. So for 63 days, despite of the brave resistance of um, Polish Liberation Army, um, the uh, Warsaw Uprising actually was put down. And all of these buildings, which you can see, they were destroyed as a punishment. But Polish people are not only brave and resistant, they also, they are also very hard working. So after the war, this has been rebuilt, brick by brick, step by step. Hundreds of thousands of people volunteered. They donated to build that one from the scratch again. They had some drawings. They didn't have a, even architecture planning of the place, but they had some drawings. So they've used these drawings to bring old city back so future generations will be able to associate themselves with our long history and our long tradition and that is also the reason why this brave city of warsaw is supporting so much ukrainian refugees simply because we know what it is like to face the consequences of the war because I can say that I, I remember the consequences of the war and I'm only 39 because the generation before me and the generation before the generation before me we, um, we've heard the stories about the suffering of our people from, from the hands of the Soviets and from the hands of the Nazis they are equal in our mind there is no difference between Nazi Germany or Communist Russia from our perspective so why why do we help ukraine so much because as a child when i was maybe seven or eight i visited this place and i've witnessed how uh, volunteers were still fixing the uh, frames in the windows they were fixing the little uh, armchairs they uh, in the royal castle they were re repainting the walls and fixing the bullet holes in this very castle so the post-traumatic stress disorder goes on in generations. So when we hear that uh, Russia attacks Ukraine, we simply have the same memory. It flashes back in our, in our mind because what, what is happening uh, in Ukraine ever since February 2022 is definitely uncivilized. And uh, let's be clear, who is the victim, who is the... Uh, uh, aggressor in this in this war we we all know that so in order to understand the incredible spirit of Polish people and our uh, will willingness to support people who are 
and countries who are um, subjected to Russian neo-imperialism, you need to come here, to this place, and feel it. It's a wonderful day as well. So best regards from Warsaw to all of our viewers. I wish you all the best and stay tuned. Press the subscribe button as well. Thank you very much for your attention.